Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today I'd like to show you how well the Intel Core i7 3770K Ivy Bridge CPU actually performs when overclocked. At stock this processor is clocked at 3.5 GHz, but I took it a whole GHz further. So I'm talking of 4.5 GHz, and that's nothing extreme. You could call it a wise overclock, but I personally call 4.3 GHz a wise overclock on this processor. You'll know why when we get to the temperatures. When you're overclocking, you want to make sure the voltage isn't set too high and always keep an eye out for the temperature on full load. I previously planned overclocking this Intel Core i7 3770K processor to 4.6 GHz, but the temperature just went up too high. Please keep in mind, every single chip is different. There are i7 3770Ks out there clocked at 4.8 GHz that run even cooler than mine on 4.6 GHz. It looks like I didn't really get the best possible overclocking chip here, but I'm happy with what I got. But it definitely wasn't the easiest chip to overclock. As you can see here, in CPU-Z, the processor is clocked at 4.5 GHz, even on idle. However, I left C1E enabled to still save some energy. The i7-3770K has a fully unlocked multiplier and all I did to overclock was basically increasing the multiplier and then the voltage when needed. Most of the time on 100% load, the core voltage is at 1.224 volts. As for the motherboard, I'm using the MSI Z77AGD65 board with the latest BIOS version at the time of this video. For the memory, I got 8GB of DDR3 2133MHz RAM installed. Before we move on to the benchmarks, I'd like to let you know the Gigabyte Radeon HD 7970GHz edition 3GB GDDR5 graphics card was used in all of the tests. Here are the benchmarks. There you go. As you saw yourself, you get a decent boost in performance when the chip is overclocked compared to the stock results. 
the overclocked i7 3770K definitely beats the FX8350, even if that one is overclocked to 4.8 GHz. But these are no news, since the 3770K at stock speeds is as fast or in most cases faster than the FX8350 at 4.8 GHz, not to mention at stock speeds. What I did was overclock wisely, although the temperatures got a little high and so I'd call 4.3 GHz the wiser overclock on my particular chip. Unfortunately, when it comes to games, you barely notice any difference when overclocking the CPU, but for rendering or overall video and photo editing, you will definitely notice a boost in performance. But besides performance, temperatures are very interesting and important as well. As you saw yourself, my i7 3770K got a little hot and I'm speaking of 87 degrees Celsius. This of course once again depends on the particular chip, so your luck. Some chips run cooler, some even hotter. I was cooling down my i7 with the Corsair H100i water cooler by the way, while the FX8350 was cooled down by the Cooler Master V6GT air CPU cooler. Clearly the AMD processor wins here. Power consumption wise, no problem. It increases, but so does the performance. When overclocked to 4.5 GHz, this CPU consumes roughly 30% more power than on stock speeds. But that is still lower than the power consumption of the FX8350 CPU at stock speeds. Now if it's worth it to go with an overclocked i7-3770K in terms of the temperatures is your choice. All I can say is you get roughly 20% more performance when overclocking the CPU, however not in games. And the power consumption increases by 30%. So energy gets lost here, but still it's not bad at all. In the end it's really your choice, whether you go for the i7 and overclock it or not. I really hope my video could help you with the decision. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.